Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, December 3rd, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. The December webinar, Finding a Trail, is up now, and my live astrology classes start next week, so register now. Yes, you can download them if you can't make it, but these live ones allow you to ask questions where I answer them. Thought I'd throw that out there. We've got so much of the Sag energy coming in now. We've just gone through a new moon. The moon's still in Sagittarius today, and we are growing. We are expanding. Yet, Mars in Virgo is on its last week here of really pushing forward in this reality, in the little nook and crannies, in every little detail. More importantly, this is tweaking the little knobs. And I think that it's important for us to start tweaking the right knobs in our life, ones that are based off this new hope, this new optimism. We can't get stuck in all the little details. We need to still stay open. But there's this weird energy where if we're going to go somewhere, we need to make some adjustments in our life and our routines. And I think that this is what today is about. Can you really start to put action in the right routine based off the right understanding of where you want to go, where you want to expand? Mercury is on its last day of being in Scorpio as well, so there's a lot that we've been digging into and you are going to see the energy switch as Mercury steps into Sagittarius tomorrow. This is the last day of our minds getting real deep into understanding our emotions, getting an, an understanding in this deep inner world of what we desire, what we want. There's so much that we have been processing that we're just ready to get it, ready to go in it, ready to explore it. And I think it's so important for us to make the adjustments to allow our lives to explore. But you're going to have to change your life up. You're going to have to change your routine. You're going to have to change your thought patterns. You're going to have to change some little things in order to make this big grand vision happen. And making sure that we're not letting little things get in between the grand vision, like the details which go, oh, well, I just don't see how this could happen because I need to do this and this and this. Using the big understanding and now making the minor adjustments is really what I think today's about. On a more earthly plane, some people might just question things today and might not step into it, right? Whenever a moon squares Mars, our emotions can get in between the actions we take, but I think it's important for us to not let, you know, emotions get in the way, to make sure our emotions are about seeing big and to make sure that they remember that, oh, well, in order for us to get big, yes, we are going to have to pay attention to some details, but we need to make sure that they're the details in the big picture, not blocking out the big picture, not blocking out our optimism, and to make sure that even though, yes, there's still this deep inner world we're processing and we're starting to get clearer on, to remember that this is the last day, to go inside, to know what it is you desire, to know what it is that you really want. And Venus, coming at 23 degrees, this is a really powerful placement. It's starting to come into this period where it's going to really stop. Go look at the sky tonight and look at Venus, the brightest star in the sky. It's getting ready to become the morning star here after this transit. So a big transition happening. And I always see, I said this to somebody recently. Oh, I said it to my friend Brooke. But what it is is... The morning star and the evening star of Venus. Now, nobody has brought this up in astrology or anywhere, but I've always looked at when Venus is the evening star as looking at, you know, the darker shades of relationships, of what we value, and getting to the bottom of some deep inner stuff. It goes really, really well with the Scorpio energy we're in right now, and Saturn and Scorpio, and all this energy of getting down to the bottom. And as it moves to the morning star during this transit, it really wants to brighten our life to be, start new beginnings in this beautiful way of the right destiny, the right markers coming together of people. And I think it's so important for you to stop living in crap. I mean, I'm just going to preach this till the morning comes every day. And it, it's true with Saturn and Scorpio really getting deeper here. And with Mercury finishing up and all this energy and the Sag wanting to open you up, this is your ticket to finally get out of that relationship that's holding you back. Finally get out of that job that's holding you back. Finally get out of these situations by the hope, by the knowing. And yesterday I talked about this Uranus and Aries, this identification. You cannot identify your life anymore to a belief or an expansion that you do not want to expand in. You just can't false your beliefs anymore or be living in these false structures that are just going to crumble anyways. Anyway, <laughs> this is just 
This is the time. This is the time. These next three, three months are going to be the period. And Mars coming into Libra here at the end of the week, where it's going to be stuck there for eight months. Mars is not going to be happy because it goes into retrograde. It's like when a guy like on a football team gets sidelined. Like, don't ever do that to a very masculine, over-masculine man because they're going to just freak out. And that's what happens when Mars goes into a retrograde period. And when it comes into Libra, like, there's no tackle football allowed on the field. So it's like flag football and you're being sidelined. And it's like, oh my God, I just, I know I could go in there and get that flag, but oh, I'm sidelined and oh, but we can't even tackle them and I want to tackle them. So this go energy this week right now, you know, people in the webinar asked me about, you know, when to start a business and stuff. I would just get this thing going. Yeah, this, this, this is it. This is the little window and then we're going into a really weird period. So. If you want, I mean, a reading, I'm, you know, let me know. But, um, you know, this is the time right now to make the adjustments in your life. Make them now. Make them now. Make these adjustments. Trust me. But you know what? It's this Western idea of, well, I've got Christmas coming up. So I can't make adjustments in my life. Let me just get through the holidays, push this to the new year. This is why our earth is crumbling, everybody is because everybody is lost and not paying attention to what the universe is doing and paying more attention to what a calendar system that doesn't work and has these dates set up for these holidays that many people just, you know, let, we're not even gonna go there in this horoscope, okay? That you're basing your whole life of a day that's that. And then you're not gonna adjust your life to go where you really need to go. Oh, I got the family doing this and I got this. And I got that. It's a great way to end the horoscope. I really want you to think about that. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions or if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading, remember that this is the Sag time. This is the last day of the moon and Sag to open up. Get the tickets going and go where you got to go. There's going to be a lot of work to do. I hope you're ready to make the adjustments in your life to get what you really want. Later.